Welcome yeah. everybody to another episode of Books and Batches. Not to be confused with books and batches. <laughs> that sounded like batches. That was one of my favorite ones. Zena's dog. Zena's dog. Zena's dog. <laughs> she's trying to play right now. Go play. Go play the mic. It's fine. Maria. You hear her bark. It's because she's playing. Maria's dog is in the studio. Zena. We've been there. Y'all know this. Already. I know we want to get a puppy cam, but honestly, Zena does not stay still long enough to have puppy cam. So I'm sorry. Oh, she's so not you having just put it. it on the ground. Proper care. We'll uh, put a get a GoPro. What's your GoPro? GoPro. Yeah. And just like strap it to her. Yeah. I'm For Kristen, sure. and with me I have Erica and Maria. And um, so right now, so Mike, my boyfriend, is in the studio. He's playing with Zena. That's why you're gonna fucking hear her barking because he's not doing a good job on dog duty. I mean, no, it's better. She's <laughs> he's keeping her entertained. She needs to be entertained. Uh, um, if you're watching this podcast on our YouTube channel, Books and Betches, hi. Thank you for joining How are these us. Cameras How's looking? it going? I have a steel drum. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I put, put the thing down. You're going to pick them up again. You know what I noticed since we've been doing this in vid- on video? <laughs> Let's just hold the boobs. You know what I noticed? What? I'm so jealous of I, the boobs. Me too. Go ahead. I touch my face way too much, especially in COVID times. So, like, mm. wearing makeup is a good way to not touch your face because you don't want to fuck up but your makeup. But then I have to wear makeup. The amount, yeah, there, the amount of times <laughs> I've gone like this and had to be like, fuck 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 i have to go like yeah. this like all dainty to that is my eye. the equivalent yeah. of painting your nails so you don't bite them yeah oh you know what saved me from biting my nails when i got braces i thought oh, you were gonna say yeah. when i got me pregnant. too I- <laughs> <laughs> it was the way you looked mm-hmm. i don't know man. when i got it was pregnant the way you looked at me you know that baby that moment. i got this question <laughs> yeah like that one over that's there that's what i'm talking about yeah okay um <laughs> yeah no well i had braces a couple years ago i had braces as an adult <laughs> They but, were but your not teeth that great. bad. No, I did good. I Michael. Did they really were not bad at <laughs> all. I mean, I felt bad. I had to get two teeth taken out, but whatever. You did? Yeah. I had these these are here. Your teeth look great though. Thanks. Oh, I paid money for that. Oh, they, they took them out. And they had to pull the they were baby teeth and they had to No, pull they were adult teeth. And my they just mouth never grew my in. mouth is too small. Aww. So for the braces, <laughs> there was no way for it to align correctly cuz my mouth is too small. So they took two teeth out. I don't think I knew that. No, she knew. You lived with me. Yeah. I know this is very off topic from books, <laughs> but I I don't regret it because I did it as an adult. That means I took care of my teeth and yes. I cleaned them and I, yes. I did now good. Now you have nice teeth for the rest of your life. Yeah, so now I can be on insurance. camera. <laughs> okay, sorry. All right. Today. From Blood and Ash. Oh, she won't <laughs> even let us like... What the fuck, Erica? Like, I'm just fucking undercutting people. Today. That was amazing. <laughs> today, from Blood and Ash. Today, we're talking about <laughs> from Blood and Ash, written by who? Jennifer L. Armentrout. Oh, Take that, bitch. Armentrout. What a name. Armentrout. Armentrout. What a name. Yeah. God bless. I never. Yeah. That's JLA. a fucking name. JLA. So I've seen from Blood and Ash everywhere. Is this a continuation of no? A- bigger story no. no that's the first one the first one what's that's the why second one a kingdom of flesh and fire uh just a, a heads up we do spoil and we swear <laughs> and we talk about sex and we're gonna spoil this book so from blood and ash oh is this the one that i saw on netflix no no what the fuck shadow is? and bone why are these all that's shadow these and bone a books are this, these is, not this is not not why this is not why adult oh. this is adult Okay, so <laughs> we should do Shadow uh, and Bone though. G- yeah, I'm, I'm starting it. So give, give me, giving you a little bit of background yeah. about Jennifer Armentrout. She's written a bunch of other YA books, and she's written. I don't think she's written any adult ones yet. I don't know. Isn't that what this um, is? This is adult now. From this Blood is adult. And Ash. No, but I'm saying like her other ones. Her so like ones. I read no. um, Lux, which was about an alien. There's another she's one called a lot of Covenant. Books. Mm. Yeah, she's written a ton of books. And I actually know, no, liked a lot of them. They're usually paranormal romance, yeah. thing, right? Um, the Wicked trilogy that's out on Passion Flix. It's like a random like What's a, a Passion Flix? It's like um it's a random like Netflix type but or, no, it's like a it's a media like a TV house. They make they make oh, books to house. they yeah, they make books to, to books to TV to TV. Cool. Oh, um, I've never heard so of they them. do a lot of like romances. Um, so the Wicked tr- the Wicked trilogy is actually a really good trilogy. If you haven't read that one, um, she's gotten some cool books out there. So, so this is the one that that's blown up on Bookstagram. That's probably where I've seen it. You've seen it. It's a red and black cover. Yep, 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 yep. With um, leaves. With yeah. Le- you you have to. You should describe the cover. We haven't wow, described we haven't the done cover. That. Oh yeah. Minute. Um. So it's make it big. Click on it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I should just enlarge. 
I'm like if you're not watching, if you're not watching, she's like squ- moving up to the <laughs> laptop, squinting her eyes. Like I can't really hard. see what's going on in the background. There's something it's, going it's on in like the background. It's like a tree stump, right? Isn't yeah, it looks like a tree, stump? maybe. But there's a sword and a arrow, and there's big um, white text. And then there's red leaves in the background, and then they're her name pretty is pretty cool covers. That's a cool cover. I, I don't mind these covers. Um, they're very like up. simple, they're and simple, I like but I like they're that. Effective. Yeah. What is the genre? This is fantasy this romance. This is fantasy romance. Yeah. I'm sorry, hun. A lot of romance. Um, <laughs> and it's it's time. vampires. Oh, and yeah. werewolves. I don't. And werewolves. You know yeah. what? I don't think I'm into vampires anymore. It's not a vampire book, like a normal vampire book. Yeah, it's not normal. It's not. It's not the one. Like you don't even know it's vampires until like the end, kind of almost. I know. You know they're vampires. I mean, you the do, beginning. but it's not they're like vampires. No, but you like don't. You don't think you're. I can't give it you away. You mean the ascended thing, or yeah. not the ascended? You mean like, the Atlantean so basic, part? So basically, the beginning of the book, you think we one guy is sixty seconds. One guys are the good yeah, guys, go and one guys are the bad. Don't go. I'm telling you, one guys are the good guys, <laughs> one guys are the bad guys. You think the bad guys are the vampires, and then it switches. You just gave me the whole fucking book. Yeah, I did. Okay. So when I said I don't like vampires, Mike gave me a look because every single night I go <laughs> and then I pretend to bite his back <laughs> his neck and I say, what if I was a vampire? I read these like shifter books a lot. Cockatrice. And- <laughs> no. <laughs> this is like a specific lady that I read a lot. Um, Whatever. So one of the things that they do in the book is they do like a claiming bite or like Ew. they they, cla- like, they bite you like right on the neck to show you can it like off. show it off. You want to show and it off? And I'm like, this is the weirdest Stop it. fucking Sorry. thing. <laughs> Don't look at her. I claim him. You're distracting. I claim claim him. Can you imagine like walking around with a fucking bite mark on your neck? <laughs> no, not yes. a hickey though. <laughs> yes. Yeah, not a hickey. Yeah, I don't know. When was the last time you had a hickey? There's just. Uh, I've uh, never college. had a hickey. I had one in college. That's it was really that's embarrassing. Good. I've never had one. It was actually honestly I don't, very embarrassing. The, the idea of someone sucking on my skn. Oh, I love is, it. No, it's not a <laughs> thing I like. Hard pass for me. Yeah, for I mean, sure. having a hickey is fucking lame. But either way, uh, vampires, I don't know. There's something about I'm not into anymore. Okay, well, moving did you on. Like, did you enjoy the vampire aspect? Like, are you I still just into don't it? think it's, I don't think it's important enough to to not read a book because of it. Like, it's like No, not, I wouldn't avoid a book because of no, it. No, 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 but I'm saying it's so, like, secondary. Like, where oh, a lot good. of, like, you know how, like, like Twilight, it was, like, the main thing yeah. was them it's being not, vampires. It's, a, it's, it's, it's like they it's exist. Like, Everyone knows they exist. They're a pest to society and it's that's that's it okay that's enough. just there's no who's doing the 60 seconds i am she's we're I'm so doing the first so we're seconds. covering <sighs> two books because oh, there's are. well there's technically three there's three I but the third, the third one, one the third one just came out so we're kind of like doing the first two right now yeah and what's the second one called a kingdom of flesh and fire a kingdom and flesh and okay of flesh so and fire. from blood and ash let's do this 60 seconds All right, let's do it from blood and ash this might be chaos <laughs> we were it already is this is a, this has been a day you ready for the six seconds yeah in three two Okay, so our main heroine is Poppy, and she has been identified as the maiden. And basically, she can't fucking talk to anybody, do anything. She is treated like uh, like an invalid that can't like interact with like the rest of the world Can you use because words? Thank you. <laughs> because she is supposed to be like given to the like to the gods basically as a gift, and it's supposed to like help them. I don't even know like harvest for the next year or some shit. 30 um, seconds oh, maybe it's like it's the ascension continue it's called the ascension it really doesn't fucking matter but basically lost five seconds there um, <laughs> i this is this is a train wreck i have no idea what's going on. <laughs> she's the maiden there's this group of people they say the other people are the bad people they're not it turns out at the end of the book that poppy falls in love with this guard but he's actually playing a vampire and he's not really one the of the good guys that's the main girl oh I didn't even hit That's any of it. Okay, cool. So there it is. And then a lot of shit happens. That was really bad. That was, yeah, you the really, worst one. you really didn't help me there. Are you kidding <laughs> me? <laughs> Don't put that you shit said on me. You I said like, use small poppy. I said use smaller words. Because I said invalid. There was a lot that you said. Okay. And classified. I you said like. I don't know that you said poppy was her name. Yeah. I said I, the, the first, first thing sentence. I said. Our main character, our main heroine is named Poppy. She literally oh, said that. it. So Poppy is a maiden. She can't be touched, can't be spoken yeah. to. Is she, she wears, human? She's, she's yeah. human. 
Wears a veil. Uh, she's human. Well, in the beginning of this one, she's human. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, she's not, but she's she not, but she is. Hold on. Whose perspective is this from? Poppy's. It's from Poppy's perspective. First perspective. First, person. First, person. First, person. First, person. First person. So she gets a bu- She gets basically like a bunch of people that look after her. They're like guards for her because she can't be touched. She can't be talked to. Like she's, she's an offering she's, to the gods. She's an offering to the gods. So she's protect. She's very well protected. How old One is she? Of, I don't know, like twenty 18, something. 19, 20. Okay. So then she gets a new guard and the new guard she like kind of falls for and like they have a connection and like I think there actually is like a genuine connection between yeah. them um, and he's very like interested in her um, and you think he's like one of the good guys but you kind of like have an inclination that like maybe he's like he has nefarious like intentions so nefarious nefarious is a nice word I like that word yeah. so you know you go along and blah blah, blah. there's a bunch of shit that happens it really doesn't fucking matter <laughs> the whole storyline. <laughs> But you know, Maria doesn't like how the, it's like very data dumpy, it's which it is very data it's, dumpy. It's a Ooh, very I have a whole ass review I wrote. It's about a very it. intricate. It's a very very intricate. Um, like a lot of things are happening in the back end of like what this is like the the world that we're in. Okay. Right. So there's these things called wolven, and they're basically like wolves that are like m- mutated. I would say. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you get bit by one of them, you turn into one of them. So, they're so you're woven like into the story. Yeah, they're yeah. shit. Um, <laughs> and Poppy's one of the only people that's ever been like touched by one of them and been fine. Okay. So everyone's no, not woven vampires. No, the woven ones are the ones that like. No, the vampires are the ones that bite. Are they? Yeah, the wolves are just wolves. Oh. The vampires are the vampires. They're kind of like... I thought they were like the crazy ones that like go off the rails. No, that's the vampires. Oh. And so there's a group called the Ascended. And they are like almost immortal beings. And uh, they get like taken away. They get like the second... another land. The third sons or daughters of people are taken by the, the... priests and shit to go work for the gods right and then the ascended are ones that are taken by gods and they're they are ascended to this next level, level of of and existence. it's supposed to be like a super honor like it's everyone honor. wants to be ascended what's the point of all this There's so none. so what's basi- like the conflict so basically okay so we go through all this bullshit and eventually like it, there's some there's um uh what is it called another group Kingdom? Uh, Yes, what's the, the other group? Atlantean? The Atlanteans. Mm-hmm. So the Atlanteans are like, we'll consider them a rebel group right now. Um, and they're a rebel group, so there's problems in the kingdom, blah, blah, they're attacking. So they decide, let's bring Poppy to a safer location. So they bring her elsewhere. During this journey, they, like, Hawk, who's the main guy, who's that guard that she, like they've kind of like fallen in love with, um, he actually turns out he's an Atlantean. He's and the he's, prince. He's that's the bad. prince of Atlantia. That's bad. Well, you think you think he is. You think he's a bad guy because that's all she's ever been taught is that the Atlanteans are bad and they're vamp- vampires. They're vampire. They're like they're so there's they like, are vampires. There's like vampire which is Atlantean. Then there's the ascended which is a vampire, but they they a have made they have bloodlust, but they're made and they they're sort of like just more functional. So this isn't and, set in the real world. No. no. Oh. Then you have vampires that are just bloodlust have no brain they are just like Out scary it, ass yeah. like real vampire. Tear, like real Kale. demon yeah. vampire things That's so cool. those are your three tiers poppy is considered a human through all this that could be ascended right but they don't really explain but they like don't what explain what an ascension is really they don't like even everything poppy is very like everything is very hush hush and they don't want you to ask questions yeah and so where do they live it's in a magical, magic it's, in, it's a different kingdom. Like, like I don't even house? know if there's like, she's in a castle. It's a castle. So oh. she lives with a duke and a duchess. <sighs> who are fucking garbage. Who are terrible. The duke abuses her and treats her like shit, like actually beats her and stuff. And it's like sad. Then the duke's wife is like nice, but she's also one of those like if you see, you see this woman's getting abused, but you don't do anything about it. So you're part of the problem. Uh, Poppy's sent there for her protection, right? Okay. Because yeah. in in the main kingdom, even though she's the queen's favorite, she's not safe there. Mm. So she has a, a always a guard and a, a royal guard with her. her. What the main guard is like her father figure. Yeah. Taught her how to fight when she wasn't supposed to be taught how to fight and basically yeah, so she's helped a raise her. So she's really she's, a she's snappy, she's sassy, she she's fights back. Extra violent. She has like a freaking very violent. She has a, a knife with her all the time so she protects herself. She's like, like Aria. she but yeah. Because she's way more badass than Aria. Aria. But as a child, her parents uh, and she, her parents, her brother, were all attacked by vampires. Her parents are killed. Mm. So she's the only one that's ever 
been faced, bit. Been bit and survived it. And survived so she, it. Wow. That's why they think. I think that's why they think she's a maiden. Yes. They think so whatever. Because she survived that whole thing, she's she was chosen by the gods for the gods. So there whatever. Go. So basically, you know, they go. The kingdom's not safe anymore. They go to get her somewhere else. On the way, you know, he turned coats. He's like, by the way, I'm a fucking whatever. I'm an Atlantean. I'm a vampire. And everything you know or is wrong. Everything you know is wrong. He's a ter- He basically tells her everything that you think that you know is the complete opposite. So the Atlanteans are actually the good guys and the people that she's been living yeah, so with are like the bad guys. Fucking, uh, that other book. That, oh, sorry, book. go on. I forget. So then <laughs> she's kind of pissed right now because she's like oh, falling in love. Oh, fucking That's like Reese. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. she's kind of pissed because she's like, I've fallen in love with you. And like we've done stuff and we've had sex and blah yeah, blah. Yeah, she's like I've I've like and myself you've been for you. and he that's not like his name isn't really Hawk like his real name's Castile. Oh, thank and, God. Like, <laughs> his middle name is Hawk. Yeah. Uh. So like, there's def there's stuff def- definitely like very in love with each other, but she's really pissed at him, and he kind of like doesn't know how he feels because he was gonna use her to like exchange her. His brother is held captive by the Ascended right now and use so and he using was his use... blood to ascend people yeah. so atlantean blood is what helps you ascend so his mm. brother's been held captive as a blood bag as a blood bag and being like raped and tortured and everything so Jeez. so yeah so he was gonna use poppy to exchange the brother for poppy because okay. they think poppy is like the important really important wow. so Got now he's in a conundrum because he's in love with poppy of course so now he's like what am i gonna do like I can't like I he basically I, and this isn't like something he's like talking to her about but like this is what's happening mm-hmm. and like I would say like the last like hundred pages of the book is like how do you get that perspective fucking great like how do you get his perspective I don't remember it's in book two. Oh, oh, oh. so I'm I'm taking you're stuff jumping from ahead book two. wow so book how does book one end so book one ends where they're basically like all right what the fuck are we gonna do now and he's like I'm gonna marry you and that's the end and that's the end. It's like the last fucking sentence in the book. And she's pissed at him, by the way. Like when, yeah, she, when she's this livid. whole thing and she finds they out have an about angry the angry sex scene. That's they awesome. Have an, <laughs> yeah. Uh, she stabs him in the heart. Yeah. Whoa. Like she's violent. She's, she's a fucking and he violent calls her, bitch. He calls her a violent little creature, which is like I the love cutest it. I line. love it. Uh, it's, it's early on in the book. So the way the Poppy and Hawk meet is that Poppy went to this place called the Red something. That's like a big like loop around. We went back to the beginning. Because even in the even in the third book, that comes back around. Yeah, because then we find out that someone sent her there. Yeah. Did you read the third book? Not yet. Not yet. I skimmed through some of it. You already did that. You didn't tell me that. You probably read the end. No, I didn't read the end. I skimmed through like the middle. Okay. Why? I don't know. I don't know. Why? Why? Because when we first talked about this, you said you did. Why? But for what? (laughs) I skimmed through the middle. Because like, remember when we first started this whole journey with Erica, where she said she reads the end first. Mm -hmm. Now she's she's elevated. She yeah. just, you know how when serial killers escalate and yeah. they move on. She's escalated to going to the middle of the book. It's honestly it might be it's worse. Problematic. It's very bad. It might it's, be worse. I don't know. I haven't decided. Yet. It's not good. It's not good. <laughs> okay. So anyway, <laughs> it's not good. Now that I have to whatever process that, that, whatever it is. Now it's are you good. gonna do a sixty second version of? It's book actually two? it's yeah. actually worse I like because I don't have the physical book, so I literally skimmed through the Kindle version. I, isn't that the whole reason you're yeah. on Kindle? Yeah, it is. And you found a way to Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you. That's yeah, why you yeah. don't. That's why get I don't physical buy physical, physical books. books. And I've, I've, I've and, escalated. And now you just went. Oh look, table of contents. Yeah, this is a thing. Things now. are, things are escalating very. I think s- subtly. next. I think next week we'll have to do an intervention of some sort. I don't know how to There's feel. A, like, I don't know how to fix this. I don't know how to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Remember that song? No. So, <laughs> I just found myself getting lost with you. Oh yeah, now I know. Now I got it. I don't know the next Drake, line. Is it Drake? I can't remember, but I know I heard it. it. Might be Drake. So Maria's gonna do the sixty second of book two. Can book I just two. can I just talk about book one real quick? Yeah, just oh, like oh, what oh, I liked. What I liked. Oh the yeah, second yeah, one. yeah, I yeah, think yeah. We should yeah. talk about. Well, the I was book. wondering if we should do book two and then at the end talk Discuss about both? everything. Yeah. Sure. I will. I will not go as as much as for, yeah. for book two. We'll just well, keep book it two broad. is like it's there's a big battle. It's it's like a it's basically. I got it. Let me do it. Okay. Someone right. get me a clock. Get her a clock. You have a phone. Yeah. Got it. You don't got it a sounds phone. like a you problem. <laughs> Should I read Touch of Darkness? Yeah, go wish. ahead. You'll read it in a day and it, it won't be that bad for you. Ready? I think I'm going to do How's it. How's Dark Tower going? 
All right, here we go. In <laughs> five, four, three, two. Oh, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> book two uh, from Blood and Ash. We are now with Poppy and Hawk. Uh, we are in uh, Far Off Things. So he's trying to take her back to Atlantia to sort of like, you know, start this whole thing. He's going to marry her. He loves her kind of thing. And as they're going, we're getting a lot of information about this, this <laughs> world and a lot of dumping of it. And then a lot of like tension because she doesn't want to be with him, but she wants to be with him. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we get all his little backstory and then we find out, oh, she can glow. Oh, wait, so we, did, we missed the whole thing of her powers. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then towards oh, the I end, forgot about that. yeah, we find out that she's part Atlantean, probably. And that's why she's able to like uh, 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 survive the, these bites it sounds and like shit. Sounds like fucking Poppy Ward. So she, yeah, she's uh, kind of she's ah. half she's half Atlantean. And then at the end of the book two, we find out no, 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 she's even worse. She's like a god level. She's god level. Ten she's seconds. A god. Cool. So her <laughs> her powers is she can feel other people's emotions. She's an empath. Yeah. And so she can like like. I can project to you and I can feel everything you're feeling. That sucks. Yes. That's a shitty power. Yes. How do you use that to your advantage? I don't know. Well, well, you know, in, if book, somebody's two, like, in book two, they discuss that she might be a line. She might come from a, a line of uh, people. A specific people. Of a specific warrior who that's have like a this very power, specific power. Who would use that power against people. And like I could have. In like an I, arm. Ooh. In like a. <laughs> I could use my powers to affect you and, and, and control you. Okay. But she doesn't yeah. have that yet. Yeah, she basically she has to build that muscle. But the what I really like is the transfer over from Hawk to Castile because Hawk is a shitty name. So agreed. What cool. a dumb. I name. was okay with that. It was Hawk Flynn. It reminds me of of Hawkeye. Castile is such a no, fucking hot name. It reminded name, me of um, Flynn Rider from Tangled. I think I would Rider. name my I think I would name my kid ha- ca- Castile. Really? really? Castile. That's a cool fucking name. So you can just call him Cast. Castile. Um, Castile's a cool ass so name. So she has right. powers. See, she's just an empath. An empath power. And that's it. And, but she can glow. Well, towards the middle of the book, I of, still don't know two, that I'm understanding the point of any of these. There's, books. Here's, okay, so that's it. We're, that, that's the whole plot of book two is just that. It's a big travel book to get to Atlantia. It's super cool. When they get, when Atlantia they get to Atlantia cool. um, and stuff, the, some the, the Ascension, or not the Ascended, are coming to attack. They're coming for Poppy, and that's when we realize that she's like she's able to have these extra powers. Some people. Why do they want to get to the gods? What is the whole? Well, the gods apparently are actually dormant. They're not even actually awake right now. Oh, something like that. But the the ascended are making the people believe that the gods are awake and want their third children, not their first or second born, but their third born children, to be offered up to the gods as like, p um service okay. so they apparently get sent to temples to work for the gods but we find out through castile that that's not true that what's happening is the ascended are eating these kids i like that they're called the ascended yeah okay. yeah they, like, i like i like through the sky i kind of cool like the, the the naming conventions for yeah everything. they're cool names but that's yeah. that's what we find out they're not actually like helping these kids or using them for anything so yeah every, them. everything that poppy has grown to learn is like the complete opposite and like she's on the bad guy team and okay. i mean okay. So she kind of slowly is learning more and more of like what's been happening and the data dumping of like, you know, all the things that have been going on in the background. So all right, well now it's a lot, now it's a lot that, of information. Now that we've got the plot kind of down, Maria, it look it sounds like Maria's got a lot to say. Can about you hear it. me breathe? Yeah, it sound. Were you? <laughs> would you? Would you rate these books? I rated the first one a four. Oh wow! And I rated the second one a four, but that's rounding up. I would make them a three point five. What? I gave both of them fours. Why the deep size, I guess? Because I didn't realize how much I hate info dumping until these books. It's brutal. It's bad. And they do a lot of that. In so books? so the entire so yeah. the entire time instead of just like I don't even know how to even fix it the right way cuz I'm not a writer. Erica, maybe you know. But the way it it's told, it's like she'll mention the ascended and then she'll go into a paragraph of what the ascended are. Mm. and then she'll mention woven and she'll go into the thing about woven's art like and that's what happens in the entire thing it's just an, a data dump of the world over and over with nothing actually happening around it it's here's like, yeah. the thing Je- jennifer armantrout has a great story this story is a fantastic story that's why so many people really like this series she is not fucking sarah jane moss yeah. she's not that that's good of a okay. writer like if you could just as good of a writer sum it all up in the beginning a little bit and like just set up the world and like 
you can hint at it i think that's fine but if you're just i like think she's she just does she does a really i don't want to say bad job but she does a really um not great job <laughs> bad job just say bad job she does a not great job of showing and not telling this is why i really really do want you to read dark tower because it's a fantasy book that like there's so much that happens and it's so insane and i just want you to see how stephen king right like right yeah creates these worlds i think that and i I know you don't like the prologue i think that a prologue would Would have worked would have worked because you would have been able to get all of this information out in a prologue yes yes. that's i would have liked a prologue because you could have pushed it back 50 years and done the original you could have done the main war that sent the atlanteans back and that's why they're gonna rise again because right now we know that there's an atlantean like world or kingdom that was defeated Mm -hmm. and they're apparently from blood and ash we will rise they're coming back Uh. but we don't we barely know what they are to care about what their journey is Mm -hmm. i only find out through castile in book two but even then it's like again another data dump like just i i I listened to this book too because i listened and i read it physically at the same time i was falling asleep wow because of the constant data dump and then oh there's that moment where castile and poppy are having a sexual tension because they don't want to like each other but they like each other well hawk is being extra flirty and poppy's just being like uh, stop i can't like i like i like the romance me. i thought the, the romance, romance is all it has going for it yeah. and that's the sad part well is I th- that it could have been like a super yeah I think awesome if, built world if a different not. if a different yeah. author wrote it which is sad <laughs> it's so sad because it was a good story it's have a good story it's of solid no. yeah i have I've she read, has so okay so lux is a great story again but it put me like i stopped it like book five because really? i got bored yeah so but it's like think that's what's gonna happen i don't with think this. she's like, like super books. it's gonna be six books fuck whoa it's six books and i thought it was a trilogy so i was like great fucking awesome I heard it was six books, and now I'm like, that's I why I haven't read the third book. Because well, I'm just say, like, you skim through it. Do you feel <sighs> like it's less info dumpy just from what you read, or do you feel like it's still like, how could you have that many books and still info not dump? get that far? Like you've you've pretty much covered the world after book one. Like you should have, and, and you didn't get into the story. Now. I honestly, I don't know when I'm gonna read this book. I, I have no so interest in reading only, it right now. I was making an Amazon order, and I did that thing where. I can't just get one thing on Amazon. I'm like, I'm going to go on Amazon. I'm going to pay for taxes on shipping. Let me get a book at least. And I was like, well, everyone's raving about this one. I just finished book two. Might as well get book three. I felt no like joy Hmm. grabbing that book. That's a bummer. Yeah, I just, I'm not. And they're all long. They're all like 600 plus pages. I, but I, I like, again, I really, really like these books. I, it's not that I don't like them. I I like we don't like it, but it sounds like I don't like this book. It's it's the same thing with like Silver Flames. Like there is a there's a fundamental problem with this book, but I'm here for the story. I'm here for the storyline. I love their relationship. I think their love story is phenomenally done. Mm-hmm. I think you that know, well, it's really awesome. Like some of the sex scenes and yeah. some of like the tension scenes, like it's done really well. You know, it'd be really cool. Like if I was like a 16 year old kid who had absolutely nothing going for me and I didn't really like have anything to do, I would just take I would go through the book take out all the parts where like action is happening or like stuff that like you really like and then rewrite the book yourself not rewrite it just lay it out in like a document and then like rehab the entire book and be like here's all the good parts <laughs> to hand that, that, would, out. that, would, be that cool. would be great that's what an editor should be doing initially i was very very excited about this book because i thought of it as the wicked trilogy a trilogy like it was mm. gonna be three books but if i knew it was gonna be like lux and it was gonna be fucking 10 books you wouldn't have started it. i don't know i don't know if i would be all I, I don't know if i would feel the same way that i felt about reading the first two books i have a bone to pick with erica because i made her read these books yep. i have a bone to pick with you because you said read from blood and ash it's like akatar but like better because it's adult the smut's cool like get in it and i said i said fine I got it in from Blood Ash. I enjoyed it. The last hundred pages made it worth it because the last yeah. hundred fi- felt big. I was like, finally, something's happening. Cool. Then I then she said, book two is a roller coaster. Her words. <laughs> book two is good. It's like a, it's a, a better than book one. I think it is. <laughs> I think it's better than book one. You did not like book two, huh? <laughs> Your face is so book funny. Book two was just info. Not a roller coaster. I. I it was felt- a lot of action bitch where <laughs> it was all fight it was always like a battle the whole time 
and they're like they're on an adventure sure sure okay if you want to talk it's it's the you know those um (laughs) when you have those those uh carnivals that come to town and the little kids (laughs) have the small little roller coaster (laughs) like this that's what this book is because it felt like okay we have a lot of info dumping oh a little battle scene two pages there were four, not 40 pages. pages of info dumping there were some cool battles well, funny thing there were some cool battles the end of the book was pretty like that epic. was fine but again it felt like an Anna Todd thing where the end was like the little cliffhanger <laughs> to get you to the next book and i'm just like i'm i'm folk. i don't want to deal with that <laughs> i'm i don't know where I'm, I'm at with this book series because i was really i think I'm fucked up because I was really expecting it to be done. And I wa- yeah. a trilogy should have been it. So I think I think right now like, where, where I'm feeling right now is that I feel duped. I feel duped. <laughs> and a, well, lot of, a lot of our listeners are our followers on Instagram agree. I put but it on the thing. You would think it'd be the opposite. I think I was thinking of these books when I was reading them. I was like, this is a trilogy. Yeah, but this you- is a trilogy. This, I'm reading these three. I'm reading three books. This is how I'm feeling. And I was thinking this middle book is a great bridge into like the third Akatar book. Mm-hmm. Like I'm, th- I'm thinking the second book, like A Court of Miss and, uh, and Miss and Fairy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Miss and Fairy. So I was like, yeah, great. Bring, bring it, bring it home. But this makes me think that is and not, now it's not. This makes me think that is not great because for you to say that if you liked these books, I feel like you would be saying the opposite. You'd be like, oh man, I thought it was going to be a trilogy, but now I get six books out of it. That's so fucking mm. awesome. No, because the middle book, if you I, I, don't duped, di- I don't disagree with Maria. The middle book, it, there's a lot of information in it. I liked it because I liked the romance part of it. I yeah. think it was a lot more exciting. So wouldn't you want In more terms of, of like their relationship and stuff. But that's what I'm saying. Like they've already, they're already consummated their relationship. So like, what are we doing in the next four books? You have to wait and see. Yeah, that's what so I'm, I like. I'm thinking that the last book was going to be the you big You should bam. never feel duped for having more books. I know. I feel duped. <laughs> I feel duped. <laughs> that's the problem that I think, which is sad. But again, like if you're in, if you don't really care too much about um, fantasy world building that matters, like if you're okay with just like sort of skimming through it, info dumping. I don't think it's yeah. And I just going to is to, it to interesting? Just yeah, I think so. I, I think it's, I think it's a good. I think it's I a good think book. If it was written in a way that I would engage in, then yes. But because it was written in a way like most of the times it happens through dialogue, mm. and oh, it's so like in book two, all Poppy does is ask fucking questions. So to, yeah, it's a lot Kieran, of dialogue. Which is Kieran. I, I, Kieran is um out. is Hawks. Well, Castile's sort of bonded, a uh, wolf. He's like his. This is his right hand man. They are linked together for some reason. I guess Atlanteans get a woven link to them, and then all everybody wants this to be a fucking threesome, threesome. because there's there's a it. bond. Is it called a bonding? Yeah, something like that. Or it's like the joining. It's called a joining. And when when an Atlantean prince marries or whatever, they could do a joining, which is where the the main the our main guy, the female and the woven man or female. Uh, have a, a threesome, and it to, joins them all. Together. It all jo- joins them all together. So the woven isn't joined with the fo- the woman as as well. The wife as well. So everybody wants a fucking joining. I got spoiled for book two because someone decided to put a little fan art of these three together, <laughs> and so I thought that that was part of the story. Oh, no, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Thank God. But everybody wants it. Wow. They're begging for it. They're begging not, hard. I, I don't give a shit about I it. I don't. Why? What's the point? I, I don't know. I like world building, but the whole question, I personally think that that is a cop out in writing when characters just continuously ask questions, yeah, especially when it's, it's like an inner out. monologue when they're like, but why dude? why did that happen? And no, she does that to, she does it to the wolf and she'll be I like, like that. so what does this mean? What yeah. are these? So you say I'm, I'm possibly from this descendant, like this line. It's okay. What every is that once line? In a while, it's the but, entire yeah, book. No, so no. the only way we That's get information out of this world and the backstory is through her asking these questions yeah, like or that. Castile going on a monologue about the history of things. Yeah. It's, 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 and it's, it's yeah. tiring. It's not fun for me. You have to it find a, feel a like better, better way to write. I also she think probably prisoned herself by writing it first person. In I this think, um, yeah. also, I think so too. I don't think a narration probably does this book as much justice too. I think that definitely plays a factor. What do you mean? Say that again? Like, I like, a the narration. I don't know, like I think if you read it, it might not have felt as boring. 
in third person oh she means no, your no, audiobook. just in audiobook oh no the audiobook wasn't fun either but i still didn't have it's it's the same yeah. problems i had with book one that i read physically yeah mm. so i think think i i read and listened at the same time for book two for, for book two until the point where i was so fed up with the info dumping i said fuck it i'm just gonna play the audiobook at two times speed. i think i'm just right now like i'm worried about basically lux that that series i love the first the first book i was like here for it the second book i was like all right yeah great and then they finally get together at some point in that second or third book and you're then i satisfied. you know i read like what you're like i'm satisfied i'm good They're together. yeah like yeah. and then it's like and then it's just like continuous like shit and i'm worried that that is what this st- series is going to be now that yeah. it's going to be like all right they're together and now it's like we keep going and i'm like oh, we're already together like yeah. like i'm here for the romance i'm not like i just i don't think it's strong enough to go the the long way i don't know where like, i think there might be a spin-off book too with the woven i think so too but I, <sighs> either way five books even if it's five books it's still two books too many five it should have movies. been a trilogy and all these books should have been shorter do you, are they gonna make a series or anything off of this I haven't heard anything. I haven't heard. I about do that. think I will say though. I do think like if you are looking for something that's similar to Akratar, similar to like a Laura Thalassa book, like I think this is a good book for people mm-hmm. to read because it does bad. it bad. does give like those vibes and like Castile is like one of the better book boyfriends. Yeah, okay. Castile. Cause like when he's I first worth started, reading. When I first started from Blood and Ash, I was like, he's contending with Reese right now for me. Whoa. He, I mean, I he was, like, I he love was him. Fun. Like his ban- the banter yeah, they fun. have is great. Like they have great Whoa. banter. He's he's spunky. I I love. Well, he sounds him. similar to Reese, even yeah. in the fact that like he's a not a bad guy, but he's portrayed as one. Yeah. Ah, uh, he's kind of more of like an agent, a double agent. Yeah. More than, he's more than. I think Reese is nothing in compared to reese i'm sorry it's just- <laughs> i do but like to me castile is in the top tier of book boyfriends even he's in the top five at least even with the data dumping and like the problems with the story he's he still is the highlight of these books interesting yeah. castile is fucking a smoke show like if oh, you see yeah. his fan art like on, he's got like you. golden eyes and like he's just golden eyes yeah he's yeah, got like he's really really amber Atlantean. eyes and like dark hair and he's got like sc- this is my favorite one. Oh yeah, I gotta do with. Amber I think this is—is is this Inkfei? Is that her? Oh, no, I think this is uh, da, da, okay, da, Dominic. That one. Okay, yeah. Henry Cavill. Okay, like <laughs> don't. He's, it's not Cavill. It's Cavill. And Cavill. why does everyone want Henry Cavill in everything? Because he's so hot. I get it, Sorry. but like, like their fan art is awesome. Oh, like, I just watched. Um, like what did we, we just watched the Nola oh, Holmes. Yeah. Did you watch that? I love that movie. It was so good. It was so good. I wasn't expecting it, but Henry what was movie? Amazing. What movie? Anola Holmes. Anola Holmes. It's like um, I might have only watched it because oh, Helena Bonham Carter is in it. I maybe I was not <laughs> drawn to that. In I really the like it. Was really I really good. like um, what's her face the girl oh millie bobby brown millie bobby I brown love, she's adorable she's really good i thought it was a fantastic she's gonna have a movie. fantastic career oh absolutely oh you love she's gotta scene. chill with the american accent movies though her, like Doesn't work i'm telling her. you like there are some scenes in these in this book or these books that yeah. are yeah. like chapter 55 level level like the the sex mm-hmm. scene in the snow is oh, like look, someone drew him as henry cavill that looks like Ooh, henry cavill let me see that looks like henry cavill to me Ooh. oh sorry yeah that's why the first one you even showed me i thought but like he like there they have some very momentous like scenes together i think if you're looking for here's here's what i think if you're looking for a fantasy romance this is a great book for you because it's very heavy on the romance where like i think akatar had a better storyline mm-hmm and the romance was there and it was very strong but the it fell back on a really strong story on that note then are there any other recommendations that you have for fantasy romance oh yeah obviously she does (laughs) let them rip let them rip (laughs) (laughs) um i always bring this up and some people don't like the series that i've noticed um it's called rhapsodic the bargainer series i need to start that um it's by laura thalassa some people think that there's like a lot of like grammatical errors in it and like i really didn't if there are i didn't it wasn't enough to notice it Mm. um they're free on Kindle Unlimited, first off, mm-hmm. so like you really can't complain about a free book. Mm-hmm. Um, but it, like Des is number two book boyfriend for me. Yeah, I can't wait to read him. So um, I think it's a really good like romance. It's very heavy on the romance. There's a little bit of mystery. It's you know got it's got a lot of things in it. Um, oh, I started reading um, Transfusion by Stephanie Hudson. 
Um, and it's actually pretty good. I've read the first like four and then I stopped reading it for a little bit. Um, just cause I wanted to just switch it up. Not because I didn't like the series. I think I'm going to continue the series. Um, but it's like a vampire type series and it's kind of, I think it's like old, a little bit older. So you might not have like known about it, but it's definitely like a good series in terms of like vampire. What about the series that you had, you're having us read? Okay, so the Alona Lewis series is um, every time we say that name, the I hidden, think of the artist. I started it. The hidden, it's pretty good. The hidden somewhere. legacies. Yeah. So it is. It's like um, a who done it type thing. So like the mm-hmm. the girl is a just don't P- spoil it. The don't, girl, yeah, no, sure. the girl is a PI, and there's a guy that's like going off, and he's kind of like killing people or whatever. And the um, the mother of this guy contacts her like her husband's brother and is like hey you need to like go get him and like figure this out like i need you to like reel him in and this guy um mad or er, mad rogan is his name he's like a war like hero and blah 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 he's retired he's like trying to just live a quiet life he's and, in like, the prologue yeah like he's just kind of like living his life he doesn't really want to be involved in this but he like feels an obligation so he's like all right and then um, the girl, she's the PI. She's um, outsourced by a bigger company. And this company is like, hey, you have to reel this guy in and mm. figure this out. So they end up like kind of converging Duh. and meeting. <laughs> well, no, that's, but that's like the whole story is yeah. them like trying to figure out this like, you know, hit, right. like not just capturing the guy, but like figuring out why he's doing it. And her. we're doing an episode on that. So but the maybe whole series it. is a very slow burn romance, too. Yeah. So I kind of like that. What's the series called? Hidden Legacies. Hidden Legacies. So it's a trilogy. So definitely start reading that because then you'll be able to join us on the next. We'll podcast. post about it. But it is a really really good book, um, and it's not like I know I'm a super smutty reader. Um, I don't think there's sex in the first book. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. All right. So that says anybody. that says None? a lot that I like a series that much yeah. that does not have sex in it. Wow, that's big. I. Mm, have that many like fantasy series? romances for you guys. Mm. I don't read that fast. Dude, same. I'm still on the same seven. I feel like whenever we do the recommendation part, I'm like, I don't read. Do I read? <laughs> That's why we were laughing. I read it like an like an insane amount of, of romance novels. Yeah. Um I also read this hold on, I read another, another series that I liked. That was like we, it was weird. Um it's called the Guild Codex Demonized. Um, and These it's by names. Annette Marie and basically this girl she's like a witch type person and by accident she like killed a de- killed a de- killed and captured a demon so now she just like has a demon that like is like her sidekick that she <laughs> nice. can control and it's like elite, it's like elite level if you like capture a demon wow. and she just like kind of did it by accident so she like <laughs> is not like very skilled is it funny it is in a lot of ways like That's it's not cool. like super serious awesome. but it's a long you know i think it's like five books but the books no, are no, not need- that long <laughs> okay, i'm sorry we need we need Maybe to take four a, books i need to take a break i need i need like standalones yeah. it's need four books it's four books that are oh, like you want standalones yeah the standalones okay yeah. i got i got you standalones hold on hold on hold on if i hear another fucking series again i'm gonna have an aneurysm okay okay <laughs> My favorite standalones are the Immortals After Dark. They're on Scribe for most You're of them are on Scribe. Multiple, which makes yeah, me think means they're not. Yeah, it means more than one. No, yeah. so there's, tw- I think there's twenty books in the that series. That is not, but there's, a they're, that's they're a all, series. They're all individual stories. <laughs> but Erica, it's a series. But they're not like connected in any but way. But it's still part of it. But they're not. A... I don't I, like. I've read book five. Three, I need, I 12, need 15 one book that has nothing that has to do nothing with any, else, no connection. But those are, those are standalone. They are, but give us something but, that has no connection but, to anything. No connection to absolutely no, anything. No yeah. spinoffs. No other in the, nothing. Not, just one and one, one is all you singular. get. Bet you can't find one. I bet, bet I can. One. The cockatrice. <laughs> cockatrice. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, that one is, <laughs> I swear to God, read it. No. <laughs> it's not that long. I swear to God, read it. It's not that long. <laughs> I'm just triggered right now. I definitely I read those I long ass them. books for this. I know it's. I love. Are doing you going to read podcast. the third one? Not anytime soon. Okay. I'm not reading the third um, from Blood and Ash anytime soon. Not anytime soon. I guess we'll like wrap it up there. Um, Blood and Ash and what was the other one? Kingdom of Flesh and Fire. I'll never remember those two things. Maybe yeah. we'll do that other one that's on Netflix now. What was that? Shadow and Bone. Shadow I and Bone. I definitely want to do that one because I I would. It's Lee I would, Bardugo. Yeah, and I would watch it. 
Yeah, for sure. I started. I've, I'm like and I love Lee seven Bardugo. chapters in. I think. All right, maybe we'll do a future episode. Shadow, Shadow and Bone. We have to. All right, cool. We, and we should do it. Like, if we do it for Bridgerton. We can like compare and contrast. I like that. Awesome. I can't believe I can, can't find a single standalone because I. And do I'm not also. You have like probably 400 to go. We're through not right even now. gonna let you. Um. Thank you so much for joining us on another thrilling and chilling adventure of books and batches. Follow us on the Instagrams. At books underscore and underscore betches b e t c h e s not quite as fast. I oh, oh no damn never it mind. she's back. I had one, <laughs> I had one, but it's part of a fucking series. And uh, <laughs> we'll uh, we'll see you next week. I hate you. <laughs> it sounds Bye. so much better. Bye.